From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021, direct from Santa Monica, California today. In this recording, we go over the incredible money in this one point. 75 to two trillion dollar recon that will be passed this week we are done on the house of representatives and those four stimulus checks that amount to fifteen thousand dollars across all those incredible clusters of this program this recon will be going over the house finish line the house will be done with recon this week the vote will be confirming the recon passage in the House of Representatives by the end of the week. I have the latest details as the vote will be happening whether or not the House Democratic CBO report released. That Congressional Budget Office report has been released in part, but will not be finalized by the end of the week. But no problem across the board because you're going to get about $15,000 of checks across all these incredible clusters of programs. And I'm going to show you in this recording how to get these incredible sums of money. This is the biggest payout you've ever seen in the history of this channel, and it dwarfs anything from prior recons across the board. But the great news is that third stimulus is still paying out and viewers on average are getting $45,000 a week from third stimulus. I'm going to show you how to get those incredible sums of money in this recording as well. So you can go into the weekend with upwards of $80,000. Then we're going to turn to student loan debt forgiveness. More debt can be forgiven across the board. And then we turn to the exciting details of this stimulus. Definitely needed because guess what? Your benefits are going up next week, next year, 5.9%, but not enough across the board. You need more, and that's why this stimulus is at issue. It's a big, bold afternoon. I'm excited you're here. The most exciting week of the entire month is here as the recon passes the House of Representatives and you are over the finish line on the House. Here we go. The big afternoon's broadcast starts right here, right now on Light. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Congress is back in session, and the House will pass a $2 trillion recon this week, which means that you will get a final vote, and then we will be done on the House of Representatives, despite the absence of Congressional Budget Office report. The latest details is that you're going to get an incredible $15,000 of checks across all these incredible clusters, but you need to take notes and learn about how to get this money as a Preble Hawk because it's not a very straightforward situation. This follows after Third Stimulus is still paying viewers out big sums of money. Average payout from the viewers' channel under Third Stimulus is still $45,000. I'm going to show you how to get these astronomical numbers across the board. Student loan debt forgiveness is still happening, and that $10,000 should be done during the holidays then. Fifth stimulus, which comes up next year. It's huge. You need that 5.9% raise, but guess what? They're going to do fifth stimulus after that as well. I'm excited. Here we go into the finish line of the House of Representatives. Your reconciliation finally done, finished, signed, and sealed. And away we go with the final vote on the House this week. And this, my friends, is a light. America's most talked about financial news channel in America, live in the morning, taped in the afternoons. The most comprehensive coverage of this subject matter on the planet. If you compare search engines versus Allite, you're comparing an apple versus a... <laughs> I was about to say, you're comparing an apple versus uh, Joe Manchin's Maserati. But I don't want to compare myself to Joe anything that Joe Manchin has. <laughs> you're comparing an apple versus a nice pair. <laughs> Here we go. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers to YouTube record. I want you part of this incredible family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like this video. Two, 3,000 likes and consider becoming a member. Let's go over what we're covering in this video because we got a lot. First, we're going to go over the incredible three classes of checks broadly that pays you upwards of $15,000 across this incredible recon. You need to learn how to get these monies. As a Purple Hawk, as a person who pounces, you need to learn. It's not something when is it landing in my direct deposit account. You need to learn where it is. Just like how you did so well in the third stimulus, which we're going to cut back to also. We're going to go over third stimulus, which you can get tens of thousands of dollars this week. You need money this week? 
I can get you money this week. Third stimulus. It's available this week. It's available next week. Fourth stimulus is not allowed in your bank account this week. Third stimulus is. So get that pen and paper already. We got that as well. Then we're going to go over all the programs one at a time in this recon for stimulus after the commercial break. Incredible details. So get that pen and paper ready. That's coming up after the 10 minute mark. And then we go over the voting process as well. A lot coming up. So here we go. A forced and was recon will be passed in the House of Representatives this week, says Nancy Pelosi, even yesterday in the last 24 hours. And that recon will pay you the biggest payout you've ever seen in the history of this channel. It will be $15,000 of checks across all these incredible programs that I'm going to detail for you. This $15,000 follows after third stimulus paid viewers on the average about $45,000 across those incredible programs. Now, $15,000 is a starting point for third for fourth stimulus. It could upwards be $80,000. But we're just starting at $15,000 because we know certain of these programs absolutely are going to the finish line. There could be more, so stay with me. We're going to go over the three clusters that are passing and the three add-ons and their status as well. So here we go. First cluster. Pa is going to pass. It's going to be hazard pay, ba back end check, four thousand dollars of elder care, front end check, then four thousand dollars to care for young children, front end check. They got the CTC child tax credit, front end check, one more year, thirty six hundred dollars or three thousand dollars. They got money to repair your home if you live in a, f a low income community. How do you get that money? Stay with me. It's coming up late in this video. Then they got the. Uh, wonderful, $12,500 for the purchase price of your first home. Wow, that is a front-end check. And finally, they got the Pell Grant, one more big cash infusion of $550 checks to my college students. That is a front-end check. There you go. That is the first clusters of checks. And in that alone, you could see about five, dollars $6,000 to coming to you. Let's go to the first add-on. That first act add-on comes from the illustrious Maxine Waters here in Los Angeles. And the wonderful provision is money to go buy your first home. <laughs> What? Yes, money to go buy your first home. It's one of the most exciting provisions in this incredible recall. She wanted this at $25,000. Not, not likely to sell five at that price point. Going to get reduced a little bit. But this is free cash to purchase your first home. How do you do this? I have it coming up later in this video. Stay with me. I told you it's a great video. Here we go. Second cluster. We got in there home repairs, more of them, and paid leave. Both front end checks. We got the household tax credit back end, pre kindergarten front end as well. Well, what is home repairs this time? This is all type of home repairs, not just low income, that are weatherizing your home. Weatherizing, oh, very fascinating. Is that, you know, is that, you know, getting in with lots of Christmas ornaments? No, that's flocking your home. <laughs> <laughs> this is weatherizing your home so that you endure the holidays, especially when the in-laws come. Uh, so there we go. That's the second add-on add of checks. The second class of checks. Let's look at the second add-on. And it comes from the illustrious Bob Casey. Bob Casey pushed for $250 billion for this program. He got a little bit less, and it's a huge winner. It is free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. It is a covered benefit, not a check. I have more about that coming up in a little bit. Stay with me. So let's go to the third clusters of checks. So far, we looked at, we've seen about $10,000. Okay, here is where the big money kicks in. Free school meals for all checks. Then we got cheaper prescription medication. We got free, uh, we got the farmers. We got uh, money for free internet. We got also the money for the workers and also the Medicare expansion, dental, vision, and hearing. This is actually a bifurcated situation when we talk about Medicare. Why? The House bill will have hearing in there and the Medicaid gap states. The Senate version will add more provisions in there, says Bernie. Those will be dental and hearing and also lowering the eligibility age of Medicare. So there you go. Those are the two, the three classes and the two add-on. The third add-on, which will not be in the House bill, but they can add on the Senate side, is that monthly IRS stimulus check. One, two, or more. Last time we saw it, they represented they were going to put in $1,000 a month after the first month of 2000 for about six months. Same eligibility as first, second, and third. $80,000 or less, single individual, $150,000 or uh, or less, married couple, single individuals, married couple, up to the household of four. People on SSI and SSDI would get it as well. 
this is a provision that they would add on the Senate side. Two opportunities where to add it on the Senate side. First, they're going to add it in the subcommittee, or they could add it in the Voterama. The Senate subcommittee is where the senators have a lot to work to do. You can see in the second half of this video, they have a lot of work to do to add, give you a lot more checks. But they can also do it during the Voterama. It's a two-day process at the very end in which they call things for a vote. Amendments, new bodies of legislation, brand new that the House members never took care of, and they put it in there, and away we go. Some people have been asking in, in some of the chats, sort of calendar calling questions. What date is the Votorama? What date uh, is a Senate voting? What date is this? Uh, because, and would they potentially get the MSC out by this date or that date? You know how I record, and you know how my mindset is for you. You got bills. You got bills to pay. And you need money. Cash is king. Well, guess what? In the second half of this video, I'm going to show you how to get money. Not five weeks from now, not five months from now, not five days from now, starting today. It is third stimulus. If you need money, get third stimulus. And I'm going to show you how to get it. It's coming up in the second half of this video. Tens of thousands of dollars. You qualify for it. You can get it. I'm going to show you how to get it. And that's what I do on this channel. I've been doing it for over a year. Millions of Americans have been viewers of this channel. I've gotten millions of dollars from third stimulus and the, at the at tail end of second stimulus, the same items across the board. And I'm going to show you how to get that money. It's coming up in the second half of this video. But also coming up in the second half of this video is that dramatic vote on that recon. That vote on that recon is happening this week. And that is despite the absence of a complete combustion budget office report. All the latest details. That deal was solidified by Nancy Pelosi last Friday. And those programs, this is where you want to get that band paper ready. Those programs are going to pay you about $15,000 across all these incredible programs. This is big money. This is how we did third stimulus by learning and applying the information to get the money. This is how we're going to do fourth stimulus. Then we're going to turn to some student loan debt forgiveness for a second, and then we're going to turn to the very important fifth stimulus, very needed in face of the new inflationary concerns across the country. Those big details coming up in the second half of this video. I'm excited you're here. We got a big second half. Stay with me. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now as we go into a big second half of afternoon's allied. It's exciting. As a House vote will be done, and that House vote is coming this week. Get ready, get your surfboard, and get your coffee, get your $12 ice cream, because Nancy Pelosi is calling the vote. Get your hair done as well. <laughs> the Congressional Budget Office report not going to be available. What does that mean for us? Nothing at all. Not a concern. And the big money across this incredible recon is $15,000. I'm going to show you how to look delicious like your money walking on that beach. Then we turn to some student loan debt forgiveness. More debt could be forgiven across the board. I have those latest details and more as we go into the second half of this video. And then we turn to this stimulus. This stimulus definitely needed as we go into an inflationary environment. And money is king. I'll have those details and more as we go into a big second half. I'm excited you're here. And this, my friends, is a big 
afternoons LA. So subscribe, 400,000 subscribers and 140 million viewers. A YouTube record and a platform record. Nowhere in the country is a channel killing it like this channel. Broadcasting 16 shows per day, hundreds of hours of programming per week. Subscribe, 400,000 subscribers and a million plus loves. Like this video and consider becoming a member. In the second half of this video, we have so much going on, but we're gonna start first with that big vote. That big vote is happening this week. What's going on? As late as Friday, but as early as today, a vote will be called on the House of Representatives to solidify the finish of your recon. The House of Representatives will finish their work on the Build Back Better Act, a.k.a. the Four Symbols Recon, a.k.a. the Spending Bill. It is huge. It is the result of a negotiated deal that Nancy Pelosi got last week that she is standing by. That negotiated deal says that she will call the vote on the recon no later than the week of November 15th. That is this week, which means that the vote will happen no later than Friday. House members are back in session, and where we're going is the finish line. The incredible vote will happen despite the absence of a CBO report incomplete. A Congressional Budget Office report was part of the negotiated deal, but she said at, under no circumstance would that CBO hold up the final vote. We have had more provisions of the CBO released today, but it won't be released in totality, no worry across the board. What's the big issue is the big money. Big, big money. When you look at this incredible recon, it'll pay you about $15,000 across all these incredible clusters of checks. You want to learn about all these checks because are you a Purple Hawk? You are. And Purple Hawks pounce. They learn about the money. You learn about where to get the money. This is not IRS and you, you and IRS. No, 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 no. This is not you and the mailbox, mailbox and you. No, you need to find where the money is. And don't have the guests, because I'm going to show you how. So get that pen and paper ready, and I have fortunes. Remember, when I say $15,000, this is an approximate number, but it may likely be far in excess of $50,000. Why? When Third Simmons became a law, when Third Simmons was in, was in negotiations, I had a preview of what it looked like. And I said, I can get you on average $15,000. I stayed with that number all the way until it then became a law. But the average view of this channel got $45,000. And many viewers have gotten over $100,000 for Third Stimulus. When we look at Fourth Stimulus, the same programs in Third Stimulus, which you can get still today, are repeated under Fourth Stimulus with more additional checks. So if you got $45,000 before, you can get $45,000 again under Fourth Stimulus and more. All right, let's go over the incredible clusters of those checks one at a time. Eligibility is king, and we're going to start right now. Paid leave is one of the biggest checks in this incredible recon, and that paid leave is huge. What is it? It is if you have to stay home from work because of illness, death, or birth of a child or someone in the household. Now, what's important is that it's anyone in the household. And the person staying from home from work is the one that's going to get paid. So, for example, let's say you stay with your son or daughter and retire. So you need to learn this because your son and daughter is going to get fortunes if they have to take you to the doctor and take off from work for one day. Or let's say you're having a medical procedure, you're out for three days, and your son and daughter has to stay home from work and take care of you. They're going to get a lot of money. So it's important for you to learn this much information as well if you're not an, an actual worker. So here we go. How much does it pay? It pays a fortune. $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year as proposed. $800 a week if you make $35,000 or more per year. And then $400 a week if you make $15,000 or more per year. But how many weeks? Up to four weeks per year. It's huge. Everyone has time off from work because of illness. Every year you just do. And this is enormous sums of money. For four times $1,700, yes, that's five to $6,000. Where do you get it? You get it from the federal government. They're going to pay it directly to you. And the great thing is it's all income levels. And it's all type of workers. So let's say you make six figures a year, you qualify. Let's say you're a W-2 or 1099, you qualify as well. There you go. Then the next provision that is a new add-on is the SALT. SALT is very important despite how much you may never have thought about it or ever heard about it. When you go to pay your state tax return, you pay taxes on the state tax return. And let's say you pay $15,000 of taxes. Guess what? You can't deduct the full $15,000 on the federal tax return. You can only deduct up to $10,000 under the Trump tax code of 2017. Not under the Raycon. The proposed change will raise that limit to $72,500 that you can now deduct in state and local taxes on the federal tax return. It's called the SALT. 
Then they got $40 billion of free job training. If you're a senior and you don't work, but you're thinking of going back to work, but you're worried about losing your benefits, don't worry because under four, four, this stimulus coming up in this video, they're proposing to get rid of that. So if you want to work, you can still stay on benefits. Here comes the Medicaid gap fix. It's a huge win for my viewers asking all about uh, medical insurance all the time, especially if you're in those Republican states. 12 holdout Republican states where the governors are Republican, and they offered Obamacare but refused to pay for it because they're Republican. They now have a Democratic workaround in this recon, and that workaround is that they're going to provide years of subsidized private insurance to low-income and uninsured people across the board. Then here comes the big money, $150 billion for housing. That $150 billion for housing is rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, home repairs, weatherizing your home, and the purchase price of your first home. Wow. $150 billion under fourth stimulus recon, which brings us back to third stimulus, which we're going to take a detour for just a second now in this video. Third stimulus had $47 billion compared to $150 billion under fourth stimulus. Third stimulus is $47 billion of rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, paid the viewers on this channel an average of $45,000, and it's still paying viewers today. If you're watching this video and you're wondering, I wonder when I'm going to get that first check from Fourth Stimulus. Don't wonder. Don't wonder. I've been doing this video for over a year. I know how to do this. You go get the third stimulus money today. I did this a year ago when second stimulus was not happening. It was, it was, we were heading into December. It was not happening. I said, let's get some rent utilities, mortgage assistance. And I made game changing uh, of, uh, events for people's lives. They had all their bills paid during the holidays and they just absolutely had nirvana. All right, to get that pen and paper ready, we're going to go over the details right now. The great news of recovering third stimulus is the money is still available. There is a lot of it. You qualify for it. And what's important to know is you need to get it. Let's start with some overview. First, you qualify for it. Second, it's in every state. Third, it's in every it's in every state, whether it's red, blue, or or uh, a purple. Number three, it is available for you if you're on SSI or SSDI. It's available for you if you don't work. You do work. Um, the only thing is when it's not available is potentially if you make an enormous sum of money. All right, first we're going to start with the rent. There's six places you reach out to. Must reach out to six. If you reach out to one and call it a day, you're not doing the right thing. You're supposed to reach out to all six, and then I got five nonprofits behind that, so a total of 11 paces. Keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID, and what you're going to be doing is getting that rent. If you're a member to this channel, read that newsletter first where I talk about Treasury's allocation of additional $13 billion for rent, so you know what it is before you make the phone call, and again, the keywords are Rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage utility assistance because of COVID. Let's look at the numbers of viewers and the numbers that they have gotten. Here you go. Viewers have gotten on average twenty to twenty-seven thousand dollars three months ago from this channel. They're still getting it. The only difference is they're getting bigger numbers now. Viewers have now gone up to forty thousand dollars of rent. And you may say, that is enormous. It is enormous. Here's what you need to know about the rent. One, you can get multiple rounds. So if you've got a rent before on this channel, anytime this year, you can do it again. Number two, you can get rent from multiple locations. So don't just get it from one location. Number three, don't just put in one application. So I know there's a lot of don'ts in that sentence, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's important to really hit it hard home because a lot of people seem to just be doing the, um, uh, some people seem to be just defaulting to doing things incorrectly. Number one, you must, you must reach out to all six places. Number two, if one says no, reach out to the next. Do not stop when you hear a no. Number three, do not put in just one application. Put in applications all over the place. Number three, you can get rent from multiple sources. Number four, you can get rent multiple times. So if you got rent two months ago, you can get rent again. Number five, six, you can get rent forward. And finally, if you've been in any of the live chats the last two days, I'm being very tough on people. If anyone does a 2020 comment, which we've been doing these comments since I was outside, where people say, there's nothing in the state of Tennessee. There's nothing in, um, in, in um, Shreveport. It's just untrue, folks. Please do not post that nonsense in this channel. You will be um, removed from commenting if you comment any, if you do it. This is third stimulus. Maybe it would have passed for a blink of an eye under second stimulus. There is money everywhere, and you haven't made the effort to look for it if you try, attempt to post that type of stuff. It won't be allowed. Then let's go to the money for utilities. 
Utilities is a game changer, folks, because why? The money for utilities, is, the, the utility bills are going through the roof. I mean, we all know it. Heating oil is going to go up 59% since last year. So these were the numbers for utilities I got viewers a few months ago. Now I'm getting about, about a month ago, I was getting them 15000 I expect you to get a lot more money. Water, heating, oil, uh, as many utilities as you have. Get five or six utilities and get them ASAP now. Don't wait till the last second because people are going to make a big surge on it when they do not have the, the bills paid for and the utility numbers are going up. Snap. Money for food. Get it. Get it. Why are you paying for food? You get this from the Department of Agriculture. It pays an ungodly sum of money. Mark's brother-in-law is getting $25,000 a year because of the channel. I have countless viewers who are now getting twenty dollars to $29,000 a year. That, over 10 years, is going to be a quarter million dollars because of the recording. You reach out to the Department of Agriculture to get this money. Next, you want to get multiple sums of money, not one. So if you feel the success, it's sort of like an addiction. You get one, you're like, I'm going to get more. And if you get some and, and you're happy, like Mark got 50000 about three months ago, he, he, he understood, go back and get some more. He got more. He's now at 100000 Lorraine was at 110. She got more and is now at 125 So keep on picking up the phone. I had three viewers uh, about, about a month ago. They started the week at zero. By the middle of the week, they had gotten four programs funding for them, and those four programs paid them 45000 That should be you. You start the week at zero, like today, and by the middle of the week, you should be at tens of thousands of dollars. One of them named Johnny continued to push and got went from four programs approved to seven programs by that Saturday. So he kept on working Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. How many phone calls do you think he made? He had to have made 15, maybe 20 phone calls because he got funded by seven programs by that weekend. He got an astronomical $80,000. And you know what he did? He turned around to his family members and said, you know what? There's all this money available. Why aren't you getting it? They said, I haven't seen this in a search engine. <laughs> Are you looking for news in a search engine? Really? This is not 20, this is not 1999. <laughs> this is not Y2K. No one looks for news in a search engine. Uh, I didn't see this on my local news channel. Oh, local news channel, they only have the, 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 the sales on the cucumbers at the supermarket. That's, they don't cover the subject matter. You need to watch this kid, Ally. He is the real deal. And that's what they did. And those two family members each got $50,000. They, they had never heard about this. They challenged even their son um, to, about this, Johnny. And they, they said, I'd never heard about it. And they got that money as well. That is what I want you to do. I want you, if you want to get those fingers on that keyboard and start to type. Is there a likelihood under forced stimulus I'm going to get a check by? Don't type it. In the time that you could have typed that message, you could have picked up the phone and gotten some money for third stimulus. Absolutely. You can do it. All right, let's turn back to those incredible programs under forced stimulus because guess what? Here we go. We left it with housing assistance. So four stimulus will have the sums of money for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance again. So yes, you'll be able to get it again under four stimulus, but don't wait to four stimulus. You can get it now under third stimulus. Then it has money for purchase price for your first home. It's first home, and it's a purchase price, and it's single family. So it does not necessarily have to be brick and mortars. Uh, and we'll see how they define the word first. And this is huge. We also see if there's any income qualification for it across the board. It's in the House bill and it's going to be passed this week. Then they got a repair of that home in the low-income community. I think it's going to be a grant. I think it's going to be a grant. And you just can just go out and use the money to make that home repair. I don't think it's going to be submitting estimates. And then the weatherize your home, we're going to see how that works. That's a very, they've done this before. And they sort of want you to make certain repairs so that your home sustains natural, normal natural disasters like hurricanes so that FEMA doesn't have to come and pay the repairs. So we're going to see how that plays out. In-home health care. They got $150 billion in there for that in-home health care. It's incredible. And that is money for my seniors and people on disabilities. The $550 check for the Pell Grant recipients. Then $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. I mean, there is so much about electric vehicles between the recon and the roads and bridges, which is becoming law today. I saw in broadcast media something I had never heard of. So I'm going to go research it as well. It said that under the under the infrastructure being signed into law today, you can deduct 30% of the purchase of a new electric vehicle 
uh, if if it's if it's a business that purchased it, what? <laughs> so there is just stuff all over the place about cars in these two programs. But this one is twelve thousand five hundred dollars for electric car for a union shop, which is GM, Chrysler, um, and their subsidiaries. So that that is a back end check. Then they have sixty five dollars a child um, for nutrition assistance when they're not in school. Incredible. This. Uh, recon, its best provision across the board is the cheaper medication. And the cheaper medication is really a, the subject of a battleground today because there's a news article out today. I don't believe I think it's accurate, even though it's a news site I really respect. It says that that the president's message that the cheaper medication would happen on day one may not be the case. It may take a few weeks. I don't think that's the case. Um, that's not what I have heard, and that's certainly not the, what came out of the president's words, meaning that as soon as it becomes law, it instantly saves money in your wallet. So let's go over the details. Um, what's happening? As soon as this becomes a law, 20-plus medications will drop, drop dramatically across the board. I asked viewers how much you're paying for insulin, and they were paying $900 a dose or a month approximately. Now it's going to be $35. What happened? The President of the United States negotiated one of the biggest deals of this entire recon. He picked up the phone and called Kristen Sinema, the senator from Arizona, said, Kristen, you need to come on board, and she did. And that incredible recon now has uh, cheaper medications for the first time in the history of Medicare. Medicare was never able to negotiate prices for, for uh, medication, but now they can. And the cheaper medication starts with uh, the following, about 20 medications right off the door. The most expensive, which is cancer, arthritis, diabetes, Medicare B, and Medicare D. And then they cannot increase it more than the rate of inflation per year. The number of medications grows year after year that they can negotiate on. And that grows up to about 30 medications by 2028. Chuck Schumer says we're going to do more about this next year, make it even better. I think they will. Scott Peters says it's really good for seniors. It is. And there's a senator after senator to praise the situation. Senate parliamentarian will likely potentially consider one of the provisions of that. Which one is it? The one where it says if the the... the that the big pharma cannot increase the rates more than inflation each year. There's a penalty provision in there, and some GOP leaders say you can't put a penalty provision in a recon. So she's going to look at that. Who is she? She is a government official. She's not a partisan person. She's a government official. She determines the rules of the Senate, what things can go by recon, what cannot. She's going to determine that one. She's also going to determine the fate of immigration reform in the recon. I think it's coming out because she previously said it cannot go in there. And then she's also going to decide the fate of paid leave. Now, the GOP leaders, I think it was Toomey, said that they're going to really challenge as much as they can challenge with the Senate parliamentarian. But Chuck Schumer and Bernie are pretty good on this when it comes to Senate parliamentarian, especially Chuck Schumer. He's been doing this for many, many years. He knows what he can get through, and he knows what he can't go through. And yeah, he pushes the envelope here and there, so I'm not really surprised about that across the board. When you land the Senate, they have a lot of other checks they're going to put into this recon. So what you see on the number of the screen right now, $15,000, is just the starting point, approximately. Bernie says it's the best bill since 1960, but has major gaps. Ron Wyden, the senator from Oregon, says, you know what? Um, we have a lot of work to do, and there's a significant amount of work to be done. That's why you really want a Senate subcommittee. We have Coons, we have Chuck, and we have Murphy, all senators saying, get ready for the Senate, we're going to do a lot of changes. All right, get ready with that pen and paper. We're going to go over some more checks in this incredible recon, and here are some more checks in there. We got in there pre-kindergarten for three- to four-year-olds. We got in there. Uh, the money for the CTC, one more year, $3,600 or $3,000. I show it household income of $60,000 or less. Some of the notes floating around are $150,000 or less. Earn income tax credit for one more year. Home health care, totally free, covered benefit. The hearing aid as a um, benefit across the board. And then we have also the housing, which we just covered, the 550 Pell, Pell Grant, and also the $65 checks for when you're not in school for food. So what provisions will be added? Oh, boy. Bernie has three that he wants to add in addition to the push for that monthly IRS stimulus check. He wants to put in there dental, vision, and lowering the eligibility age of Medicare. So let's go over that. Lowering the eligibility age of Medicare, I think it's going to get in there. There's a lot of top senators who want it in there. It's currently at 65. Bob Casey wants it at 60. Bernie wants it at 50. Dental and vision. Vision, very easy. Dental, a little bit harder because it's more expensive. It last was in the recon at $850 checks. This is hard cold cash checks in the mail to you if you're a senior on, on Medicare. But 
it, it looks like that um, that uh, Bernie wants more. He won 10 years of full benefits, then he won three years of full benefits. So 850, uh, it needs to be a bigger check because that really doesn't cover procedures. I mean, that's sort of like a few cleans and a little bit of a procedure. And then the vision. The vision is the easiest one. It is an eyeglass and a frame and an eye exam per year. That's what Bernie wants to do. Which caused, if you did not miss catch it over the weekend, Frame Wars. <laughs> it's a new reality TV show just in the comments of the show. Frame Wars, where people are in the live chat battling over the price of frames. Uh, one person said, my daughter bought my frames. They were $450 of frames. Medicare should cover it. <laughs> no, Medicare does not shop on the Champs-Élysées in Paris. <laughs> Medicare does not go to the finest stores in London to buy your frames, $450 frames. No, um, they're also not buying you a Birkin bag for $65,000. <laughs> I was just like, and then, and then someone said, but that's that's how my how much my optometrist charges me. And, you know, uh, that's that he said they're really good. <laughs> uh, time to get a better optometrist <laughs> if he's trying to push you to buy $450 frames. My goodness. We're not talking about the, the whole eyeglass. We're talking about the frames um and there you go um next ctc i show it sixty thousand dollars or less i show some of the numbers really not lining up with some of the outstanding notes you see in broadcast uh media i show housing aid a little higher 175 i show in-home health care uh 200 billion dollars as well we have more about this in my commentaries coming in a second but first let's turn to some student loan debt and also fist stimulus student loan debt more debt could be forgiven across the board and that is huge you want that to be given forgiven ten thousand dollars has been offered by the president democrats should take it they don't have to close the door just take that for now it was great during the holidays i don't know what they're doing it's been over a year and the president's never moved on that fifty thousand dollar demand that they've asked for i don't see it happening so they should not do it um, he forgave student loan debts for people who went into the nonprofit sector, public sector, and people who became disabled after graduation. Fish stimulus, very important. Fish stimulus is so important. Have you gotten that letter? Maybe you haven't. There is a notification that Social Security sent out. If you haven't gotten, don't worry, you're still getting it. The raise of your benefits up 5.9% next year. It's based upon COLA, C-O-L-A, cost of living adjustment. It's a horrible benchmark. It's been around many, many years. And the problem is it doesn't move. Yeah, it's certainly moving now when inflation is out of control, but it hasn't moved for many, many years. So your benefits were behind the eight ball before the pandemic, then behind during the pandemic. And now they're trying to catch up just a little bit based upon inflation. It ain't going to cut it. That's why fiscal stimulus is so important. First, they're going to raise your benefits up one big time to get you caught up. That's the notion of why that raises. I don't explain all the time, but I think it's sort of obvious. One big raise to get you caught up, and that raises on top of the 5.9%. Because the 5.9 starts January 1st. This is fifth stimulus right after that. Then they're going to apply a new benchmark. And that new benchmark, they'll apply in December 2020. Two, not this year, but next year. And that new benchmark is inflation. Inflation is going to be 3% next year. So you're going to get this raise, 5.9, then the lift up, and then the new benchmark. It's a lot of money. They're going to remove the asset cap, remove the income cap, and remove the marriage penalty. Finally, if you haven't become a member, what are you doing? The membership newsletter is under the video. Read that membership newsletter because it shows you the information to getting the big money under third stimulus. Rent utility, mortgage assistance, average of $45,000 of viewers of this channel. You learn by getting the money, by getting that newsletter. The viewers of this channel who have gotten the biggest sums of money have people and people that have done them themselves. Done it themselves. They Everything is in the newsletter. Features the six places the six places to reach out to. Features the five nonprofits. The five nonprofits that can help you also with other eligibility issues like rent, utilities, food. They can also help you with shelter, clothing, holiday meals, small appliances, small repairs. That newsletter features everything in there so you have the resources. Consider becoming a member today. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP, get that incredible newsletter that shows you how to get tens of thousands of dollars starting right today. Which brings me to my commentary as we go into the final minutes of this video. Wow, here we go. Very, very exciting. The House will be passing the incredible recon this week. And we're going to see how Nancy Pelosi really holds her ground based upon a very artfully negotiated settlement agreement. 
It was a week ago where the progressives, well, over a week ago, where the progressives and Nancy uh, understood that uh, the moderate Democrats were agreeing to vote, but based upon something. So Nancy certainly got someone to write the words the right way, which is the last part of the sentence, no later than November 15th. CBO not going to be issued. And I fully expect a moderate Democrat can say, you know what, we sort of said we're not going to do it unless we get a CBO. The end of the sentence says, yeah, but you're not going to hold up the vote any later than November 15th, and it has to be a yes vote. So we're going to see how well Nancy Pelosi holds her ground. I believe she's going to hold her ground because this would not look good if she doesn't. The President of the United States is signing into law today, the roads and bridges. And I fully expect, because it's already started last week, that the President is going to credit a credit to the roads and bridges, some sort of solutions to things that it doesn't do. First of all, it doesn't create jobs this year. It doesn't solve inflation. It doesn't solve supply chain. Those are big issues that are happening right now. Inflation, supply chain, and uh, labor shortages, uh, uh, labor demand shortages. And, um, and supply chain and all those type of problems right now can't be done with infrastructure. It's a very slow moving bill. It just, it does things a lot, does things very slowly over 10 years, but fully expect them to do that. Um, what's important for you to understand is the refocusing I'm trying to get people to do. And I think it's working. The refocusing is saying, hey, no time or place for you to be in the live chat and say, Okay, we're done with the House. It lands in the Senate. What day is the check coming in my bank account? Oh, so donity. <laughs> I can just smell the sprinkles. Can you? Can you just look at the? I can just smell the um, jelly filling. <laughs> it just, uh, yeah, very donity. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. You know why? Because that is financial dependency. We don't do financial dependency on this channel. Financial dependency is the cause of most financial. Um, implosions of Americans across the country. What do they do? They make everything dependent upon one event. And then they don't confront other availabilities to give themselves financial independence. Financial independence starts with getting bills paid. You got 20 bills around the household, get as many bills paid. Where? Third stimulus. When? Starting today. How many? A lot. Rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, uh, food, and potentially even smaller items like clothing and small appliances, holiday meals. What's not covered under third stimulus? Major home repairs and car stuff, you know, car repairs. Even the nonprofits have helped pay for some medication. But the, ultimately, the most important thing when we look at third stimulus is I've been doing this for over a year. I, I remember when I would be in the live chat and I'd be answering questions on air and it would make me very frustrated when I answer questions when the platform looked a little bit different. And people said, there's nothing in my state. There's nothing in my city. There's nothing in my county. There's nothing anywhere for people who have purple shirts on. And it would make me very, very frustrated because it would be literally, I would have just read like right before, oh, here's two people who got money in the state of Michigan. And they'd be, there's no money in the state of Michigan. I, I just read two people got money in the state of Michigan. Uh, and ultimately, it's a mindset. It's a mindset. And there's two things for you to understand. You may be the person saying it or you may be the person hearing it. If you're the person hearing it, please ignore it. I try the best to help people get the correct information. So if you hear someone say there's no money in Houston and you're in Houston, then ignore that person's statement because it's inaccurate. If you're the person making the statement, please don't make it because it's untrue. And if you really don't want to get the money, that's fine. No one can force you to get the money. But don't tell that there's no money because ultimately you're hurting other people. The purpose of this channel is to help people. When you make a false comment like there is no money, you're hurting other people because what you're doing is discouraging people from going out and getting the money that's available for you, for them. Imagine there is $5,000 available on the other side of a telephone call if that person picks up the phone call. And you, on the other hand, uh, are, are watching that person about to pick up the phone and say, don't call. There's no money available. The person may not make the phone call. It really is very a, a bad thing to do. It's a very bad, bad information is a very bad thing because it causes other people to underthink that there's nothing there for them. And... It, it causes uh, a continuation of, of, a, of a thing that they're trying to get away from, which is financial dependency. Financial independence can be achieved incredibly. And you know what? 
We saw it a year ago. We saw it a year ago during the holidays. Second stimulus, Heroes Act not going anywhere. It was not going anywhere. Stuck out of stuck in Mitch's, Mitch McConnell's wastebasket in the Senate when he was the Senate Majority Leader. And I said, you need money during the holidays. It was the middle of the holidays. And I got people like um, like Tyrone, his family four out of Boston, $15,000 rent, all the way forward. Remember, these monies pay forward. They don't just pay back. They pay forward. And it paid all his bills. Then they got holiday gifts. They got other items across the board. Get that. Get those sums of money because, boy, you are going to feel so good about yourself. And just like Johnny, who turned around and helped other family members, just like Mark, who went around and helped his brother-in-law, just like Lorraine, who helped inspire other people, just like Margaret, who's in the live chat and gets a few hundred dollars over a few days. And when someone says, there's nothing in my state, and she's in the safe state, she says, please don't post that. I'm in your state, and I got the money. And I'm the same exact person as you are. Um, that is the inspiration. If you have success stories, post them in the live chat right now. Because when you do, you inspire other people to get that sums of money. Remember, we're pushing to advocate for forced stimulus. We're pushing to advocate for forced stimulus to get done. We're pushing to advocate for the inclusion of that MSC in forced stimulus. But we're also dedicating our time to pick up the phone and getting our money for third stimulus. So split your week accordingly. One day to call the two C's, Casey Coons. One day to call the two S's, Sandra and Schumer. One day to call the two W's, Warren Whiting, advocating for what you need in this recon. But also give yourself two days to pick up the phone and get that money for third stimulus. It's available right now. Tens of thousands of dollars, and I'm excited to see you next as we go into a big overnight's crypto. And then we have a big evening's LA tonight at 5 o'clock. 6 o'clock is is. Countdown, one of our big hit shows today. Uh, remember, Evening to LA is always a new show. Countdown falls after Evening to LA. And then we have Stream Stimulus. And with that, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. I want you to be part of this incredible family. Hit that subscribe button right there. Like the video, two, three thousand likes, and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Powercast, Senior VIP. Stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful afternoon, and stay with LA for more.